people suffering with the thyroid condition donate blood? Do you know the answer? If no, let's find out. Namaste. My name is Dr. Tanvi Mayur Patel. I'm an endocrinologist, hormone specialist doctor from Mumbai, India. Now, before I continue this video, one important information. If you want to watch this video in Hindi language, then on the i button and below in the description box, there is a link. If you click on that link, then this video will be played in Hindi language for you. अगर आप आज के इस वीडियो को हिंदी भाषा में देखना चाहते हैं तो ऊपर आई बटन पे और नीचे डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स में एक लिंक है अगर आप उस लिंक पे क्लिक करेंगे तो इस वीडियो को आप हिंदी भाषा में पाएंगे सो लेट्स कंटिन्यू टूडेज टॉपिक दैट्स ब्लड डोनेशन इन थायरॉयड कंडीशन सो डोनेटिंग ब्लड इज वन ऑफ द बेस्ट ह्यूमैनिटी वर्क यू कैन डू वेर इन यू आर गोइंग टू हेल्प अन पीपल not only it is a noble cause but it also comes with a lot of health benefits but is it right for a people who have a thyroid problem to donate blood that is a very tricky question see what happens more and more people are developing a thyroid problem and thyroid problem is one of the most common endocrine health problem that's why in a larger population the larger number of people who have a thyroid problem and if they don't follow the right guideline it can be troublesome not only for themselves but for others also so let's find out so i will split this video into couple of sections so we will discuss one by one thyroid condition so very first condition is a undiagnosed thyroid problem yes you think that you have some kind of a thyroid problem you are facing certain body symptoms however you are not sure whether is it a thyroid or it is not a thyroid so when you do not know when you are not sure of your diagnosis it is advisable do not do a blood donation second if you have any lump or any nodule in your thyroid gland which you think or you suspect can be a cancerous can be a malignant it or if it is found to be a malignant in both the kind of a situation it is advisable that you do not do any blood donation third condition is a overactive thyroid problem or what we call it as a graves disease it is one of the autoimmune health problem wherein your thyroid gland is working more than the required range in order to treat the hyperthyroidism there are plenty many different modalities of the treatment very first modality is the usage of the oral medications like propyl thiouracil carbimazole or methimazole all these three drugs are called as a anti thyroid medicines so if you are taking anti thyroid medications it is advisable that you do not do the blood donation or if you have stopped these medications then in that case you need to wait at least 2 years before you start doing the blood sample the blood donation see what happens this anti thyroid medications can be uh, found in the blood and if by chance if the blood which you have donated goes to any pregnant women then this kind of a blood can be a troublesome for that pregnant women's unborn child that is the reason why when you are taking this anti thyroid medicine or you stop the medicine within 24 months you are not advised to do the blood donation third when you have a hyperthyroidism many people undergo treatment like an radioactive iodine therapy when you undergo radioactive iodine therapy your body is given a radioactive iodine and after radioactive iodine therapy again you need to wait for minimum 6 months before you start doing any kind of a blood donation so after radioactive iodine you will have to wait for 6 months okay other thing is that see now when you do a blood donation okay there can be a some issue which can happen with the heart condition and people who have a hyperthyroidism especially when they is not treated they are already prone for a heart issues and that is also another reason why we advise not to do a blood donation at that time 
Now we will move on to a hypothyroidism, which is most common among all the kind of a thyroid problems. So if you have a hypothyroidism and if you have started taking a levothyroxine medicine, then in that case, if you started recently to take this medicine, you need to wait for at least eight weeks for that medication to work for your thyroid to get stabilized. And once it gets stabilized, you can do the blood donation. That means if you are taking a levothyroxine medicine, if your thyroid is controlled optimum range, you can do a blood donation. However, if you are taking a levothyroxine and recently within less than four weeks, if your medicine dose has been changed, that means your thyroid may not be in control. In that kind of a situation, you need to wait for your thyroid to get in control. Then you can start doing the blood donation. That means People who have a hypothyroidism who are on levothyroxine can do a blood donation provided their thyroid is in control and the levothyroxine dose is stabilized. However, recently started thyroid medication, you need to wait for at least 8 weeks. All right. I hope after watching this video, you got some clarity on this question. This question is very commonly asked question in my OPD and many people who are very eager and they are very enthusiastic of the blood donation always ask this question. So if this question is not applicable to you, but still do send it to all your family members and your friends who have thyroid problem because you may be having a good intention of doing a blood donation and helping people. But if you do not have the right knowledge and unintentionally, unknowingly, if you are going to harm them, your entire intent will go to waste and it will harm other people. The other people who is going to receive your sample do not know your health condition, but you know it, right? So please take a right precaution, follow these points so that you will save not only your life, other one's life also. All right, if you have any of your personal question, Write that in the comment box below. I try to read and answer them as early as I can. And if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe so that you get more and more health related information. We'll meet again with some new good useful information. Till then, take care. Share. Namaste.